Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Julie from Living Large on Lifetime and welcome to the Wednesday Weekly. Today we're gonna to talk about how to make more time in your day, how to manage your time, and we're gonna go over a few tiny time hacks that will help you prioritize your time and your activities. So it's no surprise that studies have shown that people who manage their minutes well are happier, less stressed, and overall healthier in mind and body. That's what I love about Weight Watchers is not only is Weight Watchers based on nutritional science, but also behavioral science. And this actually makes perfect sense because think about a time when you are pressed for time, you um, get cranky, stressed, anxious, overwhelmed. So that is not the relaxing picture of perfect health that we want. So we need to find ways to most efficiently manage our time so that we can then prioritize the activities that feel good for us, for our health and our well-being. So one way that you can actually make time a priority is to create a habit. Once you create a habit, you can do your time management activity or behavior without really thinking. If you guys remember a couple months ago, we talked about how to actually create a habit. The first thing you want is a cue. So for example, if my cue is every Sunday evening after dinner, cue, I'm going to pick out all my outfits for the work week. That's the activity. So you wanna start with a cue, then the activity, and then a reward. So if I then choose all of my outfits for the entire week, then I can sit down and read a book for 30 minutes. So that's how you create a habit is just a behavior that you practice over and over again until it becomes second nature. First a cue, every Sunday after dinner, then the behavior, I'm gonna choose all my work outfits for the week, and then a reward, I'm gonna read for half an hour. So that's one thing you can do to create a little time hack in your day. Start creating these little habits that will add up to time savers eventually. On page three of the weekly, we've got here 10 tiny time hacks. I'm gonna go over all these time hacks because I am a person who does not get my full 24 hours out of the day. I don't know how, I don't know what happens, but I need any time hack I can manage. So I'm gonna read all of these time hacks for my own benefit and for you guys. Number one, wash and prep a week's worth of fresh fruits and vegetables at a go or buy washed and pre-cut produce at the supermarket. I am a super cheap person. I don't like spending unnecessary money, but in certain circumstances, it's totally worth it. And I think that buying pre-cut and pre-washed fruits and vegetables can sometimes absolutely be worth it when you're pressed for time. It can save you so much time and stress and still encourage you to eat healthy. It's totally worth it in my book. Number two, squeeze in activity by standing up and doing squats or marching in place while you tap away on your laptop or tablet. I don't think I'm quite that uh, graceful, flexible. <laughs> I could probably do some calf raises, um, but I don't know if I could do squats or marching in place and still type and get out what I'm supposed to be getting out at the same time. But try it, you never know. Number three, Stock up on greeting cards so you don't need to make a separate trip to the store every time someone has a birthday or life event. You can even find boxes of assorted occasion cards. I love this tip because I actually, when I go to the grocery store and I'm looking for a particular card, you read a ton of cards, right? Because you wanna get the card that absolutely fits that specific person. So as I'm doing that, I'm reading cards and something in a card will trigger me to think of another person. So I buy all the cards that make me think of someone else. When I get home, I put a post-it note on each card for who the card is supposed to go to so that when that birthday comes, I already then have the card and I can just mail it off. So I like that idea a lot. Number four, double up on dinner prep so you can pack leftovers for lunch the next day. I like that one too. Sometimes I will freeze the leftovers so that I don't have to eat the same thing repeatedly over and over. Number five, plot your around town errands on a map and then tackle each task in sequence on your walk or drive. No more running back and forth across town and belatedly remembering something else to do. I am terrible at this. The one thing I really hate about living in California is that you have to go to so many different stores just to get the few items that you need. You can't get everything at the same store. Eddie is really, really good about planning 
um, the route so that he uses the least amount of gas and the least amount of running back and forth. Another incredible time saver is to always use a list. If I don't use a list, I will forget something and then I will be at the store every single day that same week. So use a list, plan your route, and try to avoid running back and forth between stores all week long. Number six, double up your socializing. Invite your partner along on your regular walk. Go to the supermarket with your best friend to get in both your grocery shopping and a good conversation or hold a meeting with your school volunteer committee on the playground while the kids are playing. I have also heard some corporate executives who actually take walks for meetings. Um, so if that works for you in your environment, go for it. Number seven, check the week's weather on Sunday, then pick outfits for each day of the week ahead of time. Activity clothes too. I do that when I can and it helps so tremendously to just jump up in the morning, grab the outfit I've planned for that day, and just go. It helps so much. Number eight, set a timer before hopping online to shop or catch up on emails. When the timer goes off, shut it down. That's a good one. Online activities can be such a time waster. Very informative. We can't live without the internet. It's just a given that every household has the internet, but it can also be such a time suck. Number nine, put regular purchases, think paper towels, kitty litter, pet food, toothpaste, prescriptions, on auto refill at sites such as walgreens.com or amazon.com. Try online grocery shopping for pickup or delivery too. I keep meaning to try this with Walmart um, and actually order my groceries ahead of time so that I don't have to go inside Walmart and deal with all the craziness, but I keep forgetting and then I also feel like a lot of times I need to go in and comparison shop or I don't know specifically exactly what I want. So one of these days I will do that. And then number 10, there's a spot for you to write your own time hack. So do you guys have some time hacks that you would like to share? Please post them down below in the description box because I tend to get very overwhelmed if I don't have enough time in my day. So I could use any kind of time hacks, time savers that you guys wanna pass on to me. The next section is the think again section. And that is where we kind of retrain our brain to uh, follow some different thinking patterns, which then leads to different behaviors, which then makes us healthier people. So it says sometimes it's hard to change routines, but a shift in perspective can help you see what you'll gain, like more time. So one unhelpful thought is Sunday is my only day to relax. It'll be ruined if I use it to prepare for the week ahead. That's me. The helpful thought. It won't take all day. A few minutes spent planning for the week ahead now will give me more time to relax with my family during the week. Doesn't mean you have to spend all day Sunday doing meal prep, Julie. It doesn't have to last all day. <laughs> Another unhelpful thought, I have so much to do it's impossible to find a chunk of time to be active. The helpful thought on this one is I am busy, but being active gives me energy and clears my head, which helps me tackle my to-dos even better. Even if I only have 10 minutes between meetings, I can take a quick walk. Absolutely, it doesn't matter how long you have for activity, all those activity minutes add up, so just tackle them. So then it has a place where you write in your unhelpful thought and change it to a helpful thought. My unhelpful thought is I get so busy that I get overwhelmed with everything I have to do. And that is no joke. I get overwhelmed and stressed and then this girl crashes hard, crashes and burns. So my helpful thought is this, writing a list on paper helps me prioritize and manage the things I need to do. And somehow just seeing it on paper makes everything a little more achievable. So that is why my planner is my brain. So that's just kind of a little exercise in helping shift our thoughts from something unhelpful to something helpful for our journey. And then the last page I'm gonna go over with you guys is called How You Do It. And this is just a bunch of tips from members in the Connect community who are sharing their time hacks as well. It says, great ideas from the Connect community on making the most of your time and how it can pay off. One person says, I recently discovered online grocery shopping. I don't buy things I don't need. I spend less time going shopping, and now I have time for a walk outside instead. Well, I walk around Walmart. <laughs> 
Another person says, I clean my fridge a bit every day. I check dates on bottles, toss uneaten leftovers, and keep healthy stuff front and center. The best time to clean shelves? Right before my big grocery trip. The fridge is more empty and I can take a quick inventory before I go. That's a great tip. Another person says, I use my phone calendar to schedule blocks of time for meal planning, grocery shopping, movement, even when I'll prepare and eat meals. If it's on the calendar, most of the time it gets done. Someone else says, food shopping? Use the barcode scanner. If you're going to buy the food, write the smart points on the package so you don't have to look it up later. And that means write the smart points on the package right away in the grocery store. <laughs> It helps so much when you get home and unpack and everything is already scanned and written down. And the last suggestion is with an active two-year-old and a baby, it can be difficult to find me time, but I've started taking them for walks in the stroller and as I walk, I meditate on everything I'm grateful for. So those are some suggestions from Weight Watchers for some good time hacks and ways that we can manage our time more efficiently and make the most use of the full 24 hours we are given. I need to practice this so much. I'm gonna leave you guys with one last word of advice, but don't remember or don't forget, <laughs> don't forget to put down below in the comments any time hacks and time savers that you have and you would like to share with me or with others in the community. The last thing I'm, I'm going to leave you with is a quote. It says, the key is not to prioritize what's on your schedule, but to schedule your priorities. That's a good one, right? All right, thanks you guys so much for joining me for another weekly Wednesday. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for joining me for another weekly. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me for another Wednesday weekly and I will see you all here next week. Bye, thanks for watching.